Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am your Hirosa and in this moment I am putting on my gloves so the outfit feels complete because these opera gloves really do, I feel, make an outfit really come to life. And it's just a nice finishing touch, so. Gloves. And they match my headband too, I think so. Well, they do. And I think that it's a good outfit. I mean, I wanted to wear something that was um, kind of a nod to spring. And so, as you can see, the dress I'm wearing has a lot of spring colors, but there's birds, there's butterflies, there's a cage there. The bird is not in the cage, though. Um, but this is a dress I purchased last summer at a festival that was happening out on Ninth Ave. And uh, it felt very spring to me. So, yeah, I just wanted to wear it to welcome in the spring. It's April showers at the moment here in New York City, so definitely feels like spring, but it's unfortunate that, you know, we're still kind of uh, in this pandemic, if you will. Well, it is a pandemic, right? But yeah, yesterday was a beautiful day though. Yesterday was so beautiful and it felt like, you know, the warm weather was coming and it, there were so many people out. Although I do feel after, I had, so just a background, a little bit of background. Uh, I got my bike fixed recently and so I was riding throughout Manhattan because it was the first time I was able to ride my bike and there were so many people out and people were not observing the social distancing rules here in New York City. So I wouldn't be surprised that in the next week or two, we see a huge uptick in coronavirus cases here in New York City because people were just not social distancing. There were people like playing um, sports and contact sports at that. I think they were playing flag football or something. I'm not really big into sports, so I'm not sure. But there were just too many people out, you know, just in New York City, too close to each other, like touching. It was it was a lot. But, you know, I think that as humans, we, you know, need that human contact and we need to be able to be in communities and surround ourselves with people. And I mean, we're social creatures, but at this moment in time, we shouldn't be doing so much of that. So I digress though. This video though will be about my wardrobe. And so I want to share with you some items in my wardrobe. A lot of the things in here I haven't worn in quite some time. And some of these things you might recognize in my most recent videos. Um, but I just wanted to go through just my wardrobe and show you guys what I'm working with, what you might be uh, seeing in future videos, as well as some things that I just want to get rid of. So if any of you are interested in some of these items, let me know because I definitely want to get rid of some of these items and kind of downsize my wardrobe just a bit so that I can introduce new pieces, do a new kind of aesthetic overhaul and um, yeah, move forward with kind of my look. And so first thing up is this black skirt here, which, you know, you've seen before. And I actually have a video that should be up probably at the end of the week um, where I'm wearing this skirt. But this skirt is fabulous. I love it. It got these zippers here. I'm not really a big fan of zippers on skirts, but don't think it's the worst look for this particular article of clothing but yeah this is something that I do not plan on giving up I do love this but I don't see myself wearing it very often this summer because it, it's one of those things that I would wear if I were going out and I'm just not sure if you know the dance scene or the club scene here in New York City will recover this summer we'll see but um, we know pride was canceled so yeah there's just not going to be as many Fun things to do this summer, I feel, in New York City as there were in the past, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, actually, let me, I want to prop this up. I think it would be nice if I prop this up. Let's prop this up. Uh, by the way, hello, everyone. I see David Lopez. How are you? Good to see you again in another live video. Um, who else is there? Lord Pebble, hello. Mike, good afternoon. Austin, hello. All right, everyone, just one second. I'm just going to lift this up. So, just give it a little bit of, there we go. And voila, perfect. So, uh, yeah, so that was the first item. Then in my thumbnail, I just showed off this bikini top. Now, I don't know if I'll be wearing this anytime soon, but this is really cute, really fun. And I have the, um, the other piece somewhere, but it's it's a high-waisted kind of sailor-esque swimsuit. Really fun though. I would wear this by itself with um with like a high-waisted capris or shorts, but this is really cute. Definitely giving me summer vibes. It'd be quite some time before I'm wearing this again. But who knows? Maybe I'll go on vacation. Well, I don't know. I just don't see me traveling 
very much. Though I was in Puerto Rico earlier this year, and this would have been the perfect thing to bring with me. Although it was pretty windy. It wasn't that it wasn't as cool. It was very cool. It wasn't as hot as I would have liked. But it was January, so. There's that. I have quite a few swimsuits actually. Um so yeah, I just wanted to just kind of for those of you just joining this video, I just wanted to uh, share some pieces by, in my wardrobe because I'm looking to downsize uh, and get rid of some of these pieces. Uh, so if you're interested, let me know, because honestly, uh, we can work something out. But um, a lot of these pieces I'm going to keep, but just wanted to kind of go through what I'm working with, see what you guys like the most, and kind of go from there. Okay, so then I also have this. And I think I wore this in a, in a recent video as well, but I'm not entirely sure. If you're following me on Instagram, but you might have seen it. This is a really fun festive dress. I got it around the time of New Year's Eve. I think the, the goal was to wear this for New Year's Eve, but I had like several different outfits ready and, and planned uh, for that time. But this was one of them. Really cute, really fun chroma. This chrome color. I have a nail polish that's very similar to it too. Very cute. And I would probably wear this like beige glove, similar to the ones I'm wearing now, um, with maybe a really festive like headband. Oh, and you know, before this video, I actually had to like, you know, clean up my drawer or my trunk because I have everything in a trunk. And um, yeah, so everything's kind of just scattered here. So I'm gonna fold everything nicely so that when I'm done with this video, I can neatly place it back into the trunk. Oh, we, looks like we have some more people joining us. Um, William, good afternoon. How are you guys? And JJ, hello. Hi, everyone. So just some um, good to see a lot of you, a lot of familiar faces or names rather but it would be fun to do a bit of a face-to-face -face. what do you guys think about that i actually was considering doing some like one-on-ones and so i think that you know this would be a great place to kind of gauge public thought and opinion on that what do you guys think of a potential one-on-one -on -one opportunity uh with yours truly now i'm thinking maybe skype or zoom or maybe even doing something like there's just so many apps popping up now uh that have that are similar to zoom where you can have Kind of a party feel and so it's like you know, i'm a girl who loves to dance i'm a girl who loves to you know um go out and so i feel like that might be a good middle ground so just wanted to see what you guys would think about that i think that'd be really fun um oh let's see let's get some other pieces in here this piece i've had for quite some time and i've never really gotten a chance to wear it um i'm not sure it, it's one of those things i was an like, impulse buy maybe i shouldn't have purchased it no straps it's just uh, let me see it's a, it's a jumpsuit, um, and it's lame, and this is just not the best fabric, honestly, but it's basically a one-piece jumpsuit, and I think it's, they're sticking together. Yeah, they are. Ooh. There we go. This, I mean, with these gloves, I think it's a good color combo, right? But, yeah, I just, this is one of those pieces that I probably would just end up tossing, Maybe I'll wear it for one video, but my whole like rule is that if I want to purchase something, I have to at least wear it once in one of my channel videos. So, I mean, I don't think I've worn this yet. So I think I need to find something soon to do with this piece before I discard it. Um, but it was cheap and I've had it for quite some time and I literally only wore it maybe twice. But literally each time I wore it, it was like indoors. I've never really worn it out. It's just not something it's kind of tacky, I would say. It just, it's a very specific look. It feels like mm, maybe a cosplay or something. Oh, and then I have this top here, which I really do adore. And I do plan on making another fashion forward uh, and fashion oriented video soon. And so this is something that I would love to wear in that video. And I think I wore this in one of my previous lives, um, but it's got these great poofy um, sleeves. And I just love the cut of this. It looks really great. So I can show you. It's just so fun. It's such a fun, look at the sleeve. I just love it. Yeah, it's really fun. And then it kind of, it's like a, like a kimono or a robe. Like, and I just love this kind of cut here, this V, V line cut, something short, something, well, it's not too short, but it's a fun piece to wear. So it's, kind of difficult to fold. I'm not quite sure how to fold this piece. So uh, this might require a bit of love and dedication to get it to fold the way I would want it to. 
And then similar to that piece is this yellow. It's it's a this is a dress, but it's got like a leotard like in, in the interior, so but I really do like this color. So basically it's really short, so it feels like this isn't something that I would wear by itself. Um definitely with a pair of jeans, maybe nothing not a skirt, but yeah, I think a pair of jeans would be really nice with this. Um and again, this actually looks good with these gloves too. These colors I think look really nice together. All right, who's joining us? Andrea, hello. Steve says, oh, what dress are you wearing now? Oh yeah, so this is the dress that I'm wearing now. As you can see, it's very spring. It's got butterflies, it's got birds, cages, but no bird inside the cage. And it's nice pastel colors. I think these, these colors were great for spring. And then I'm wearing these magenta colored opera gloves, as well as the headband, just to kind of give it a bit of an accent. So that's what I'm wearing now, and I'm wearing magenta lips. Really wanted to kind of draw it all together. And I bought this in Puerto Rico, actually. This was a, a thrift store find, because I am a girl who loves her thrifts, and I haven't worn this yet, but I think that this is a fun, you know, Black and white. I think this is actually green. It looks like a little bit green, actually. Um, this is a piece, one piece outfit that is really flowy, fun, and I think perfect for summer, like a stroll to the beach, which again, I'm not really sure when that'll happen, but between this and this, like if I were to wear this or this, I would wear this underneath this, right? And then, you know, when I'm ready to go jump into the water, I'd discard this or put this away and then run out in my cute little bikini. I wish I could show the bottom of it though, but I do have a video on my channel where I'm wearing this and I'm singing to, um, we're dancing to Lady Gaga's Summer Boy. It's a fun video. You should check it out if you get the chance. And then black skirt, pencil skirt. Not much to say about this other than, you know, something a girl can wear to work. Although when I'm working from home, I'll probably choose to wear something a bit more comfortable. Although this is pretty comfortable. You know, skirts can be a little bit restrictive. Speaking of skirts, I have this poodle skirt too, which is really fun. And uh, I wore this in a video, probably, I think, a video I made the same time last year. So look at this. You see like there's the dog collar there and at the very bottom you've got the poodle. How cute is that? That is adorable. Makes me feel like Sandy from Greece. So yeah, this is really cute. And I definitely wanna do some more like error fashion videos. And so definitely wanna wear this Buddha skirt soon and show off some cool vintage fashions. This is something I also purchased in a thrift store as well. So, you know, you can really find some good things at a thrift store. So happy when I found this, although it was not cheap. Actually, it was a consignment shop, and I think the difference between a consignment shop and other stores is that people are making these pieces um, specifically to sell and getting a commission off of them. So, but yeah, there were some thrifts there as well. Okay. Oh, and then love this zebra print skirt. Love zebra print. By the way, if you're also into crossing or you yourself are a crossdresser, let me know if you know you're into zebra or leopard. Like if you had to choose between the two, what do you prefer? And don't worry, I also have leopard print, although I don't think I have any here to share today. It's not in my drawer. This is not this is like half of my wardrobe. This is not my entire wardrobe. Oh, and then this polka dot skirt too. Very mini mouths. Oh, so currently here in New York, someone's asked what time it is here. Here in New York, it is, um, I would say 1400 hours, 1400 hours, yeah, for like European time, but 225 uh, if you're using, you know, the US metric for time. Oh, and then this group here, this is a fun one. By the way, I have to mention, 
I still have two calendars left for anyone who's interested. So, you know, if you're interested in purchasing a calendar from yours truly, I still have some calendars available. I posted them on my um on my community tab, so be sure to check those out if you haven't already. Mike, I don't know if YouTube would be the correct place to model something like that. Um, that would require, I feel, a boudoir shoot. And that's not something that I'm opposed to, although I wouldn't know where to post those images. I feel like those images would be something that only my husband can see. But I appreciate the recommendation, I suppose. Now, yeah, zebra or leopard print can both look good or tacky depending on the outfit. So I definitely agree with that. I feel like you have to be very tasteful with how you're using it. But I sometimes I do like the costumey aesthetic, although for me personally, I wouldn't go out in it. Um, but yeah, you're right. I do agree. I think it has to be an accent if you want to make it really work well. Like if you're going to wear an entire leopard suit outfit, like, I don't know, very Cirque du Soleil. This is a piece that I really do enjoy, but just I kind of grew out of it. This is like more of a teenage yo-yo look, and uh, I'm no teenager anymore. So this dress here, very similar to this dress I'm wearing now, actually. So it's like just very, very small. It's got these cutouts, though, so you know a little bit of a midriff. Um, but I love this pattern, and it's very fun and flowy, and it's very, very good to dance in. Uh, but the thing is, again, that it's just a bit too small for me. So this is one of those pieces that uh, we'll have to get rid of soon. Or maybe I'll just have to lose some weight. <laughs> this quarantine hasn't been kind to me. How have you all been keeping active during this really weird time? I recently had a bike fixed. My bike was uh, in the repair shop for like a few days and then um, I just got it yesterday and so I was running around the city. So now I feel like I can be a bit more active, but you know, it's. I still wish I could go to the gym and, you know, do a little bit of weightlifting as well as, you know, running on the treadmill, et cetera, et cetera. But for now, the bike will have to do and finding time to carve, you know, pockets of working out throughout my week, definitely be beneficial. And also maybe changing up my eating habits. I know for me personally during this time, I find myself, you know, resorting to some of, I guess, comfort foods. So like, yeah, I probably should change my diet as well, but you know, either way, I have a lot of things that I can fit in and then have this for quite some time, so it's time to depart with that. Here's another piece that I've, I purchased. I purchased this piece, uh, I would say last year or in 2018, but I've only worn it like once. And it's an interesting piece. I, it looked better on the model. And then when I got it, it's one of those things that you purchase online and it's like, it looks good on the website, but then when you get it in person, it doesn't look so good. So it's this dress here, and it has this this like diamond shaped cutout for cleavage. Um, it just doesn't look that great on me. Although this is something that I think potentially I could hmm, actually didn't notice this, but I could probably cut this up to make it a one piece dress and create some straps. What? Oh, that's a good idea. What I think I might do is cut right here and make this a sleeveless dress. I think it would look better as a sleepless dress. What do you guys think? But yeah, it's just, it's a bit weird. It's a funky looking dress. Again, it was one of those things that I purchased online that looked better on the model and on the website than it did in, in person. Gotta be careful when shopping for things online. Colors might be different. The um, cut might be different. The cut shouldn't be different, but you know, tends to be how it is sometimes. Hi, Jewel. Good to see you. And then, oh, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is for my housewife aesthetic. I really do love this beige part of the dress um, for the, you know, your chest. It really, really kind of accents the figure here and then also, just because of the cut of the dress, if you are cinched, it will show. And it's got a beautiful pattern. I really do love this pattern. Very nice. Um, definitely don't plan on parting with this anytime soon. And I don't really recall where I purchased this, though, though I'm pretty sure I purchased this online. It's a beautiful dress. 
And I, I remember when I wore it out once, um, I got quite a few compliments on it. So it's a fun, fun piece. Thank you, Jewel. Oh, I love the super chat. Super chats are super helpful for me um, during this time because I am trying to, you know, get by and YouTube, if you haven't watched a previous video about just me kind of disclosing what I make on YouTube, it's not really uh, a place where I can make, I guess, an income to support myself here on the platform, especially now with advertisers and marketers pulling out of YouTube. With this a weird time that we're in right now, people aren't spending money, and so companies aren't really, you know, sponsoring content, you know, helping influencers and YouTubers out. So, you know, any support that you guys can share, always, always, always appreciate it. Thank you again, Jewel. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, this is something I purchased also at a thrift store, and I really love this, although I'm just really confused as to, like, Every time I put it on, it's always like I find out something new about this because it's just such a weird cut. So it's got a sweetheart cut, which I really do enjoy. And a fabulous, look at this pattern. I love this pattern. It is fantastic. And then the thing is that it's like, it's, it, it's neither a dress nor a romper. I mean, it's, I guess, because it's, it's like a romper, right? But it looks like a dress, but then it has this slit down the middle. So I just, it's just a very interesting piece. I'm not sure how to really describe it. I guess I would describe it as a romper, but it's very cute and I love the pattern. When I saw it, I had to have it and it was less than $10, I believe. So definitely something that I do want to wear in the spring or when it gets a little bit warmer out in the summer. I'd wear that with booties too. I think they would look really good with a pair of booties. In fact, booties are what I'm wearing now. So if you want to see, I'm wearing a pair of booties um, now, this is something that I would typically wear with this outfit. I think something more open toe would look better with this, but just for the sake of this video, I knew I was late when I was starting, so I just wanted to throw on a pair of heels just because it doesn't feel like the look is completely without heels, and so these aren't the best heels to go with with this look, but for now, they'll do just because I knew that, you know, you wouldn't be seeing these shoes very often, but I would not leave the house with this outfit on in these shoes. I would wear something more open toe. Ooh, and then here... A bit of latex for those girls out there who enjoy latex. So this is a latex nurse outfit. And if you have my calendar, um, my 2020 calendar where I do a lot of pinup looks, I am wearing this and with a Betty Page wig and it's fantastic. So I'm really, I'm, like lately I've been really into latex and I would love more latex pieces in my wardrobe. And so that's something that I need to look into, although taking care of latex is a bit of a process, so, you know, definitely want to limit how much I have. Um, what do you guys think? What is your take on latex? Do you guys enjoy latex? And if so, do you have latex pieces? And then here's like kind of my default look, default dress. You know, I think red is probably my favorite color, or rather it looks the best on me, and so... Look at this. This is a dress that you've seen many times on my channel. And it just really, 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 you know, brings out my figure. It looks fantastic on me. Whenever I wear it, I feel like a femme fatale. And so I I don't plan on getting rid of this piece anytime soon. Love it. It definitely conveys the point of power, beauty, and lots of sex appeal. Honestly, I would love to have this in like blue as well. Speaking of this, let's kind of talk about your wardrobes. Uh, what are your favorite pieces to wear? And what are some notable, I guess, looks that you do? Do you prefer wearing something that is, you know, flowy, something that's tight, something that has a low cut neckline, or something maybe that is a halter top dress? Do you prefer wearing dresses? Um, or do you prefer wearing, you know, a blouse with skirts? Just interested to know what you guys think. And is it made of silk? This is not made of silk. Like, this is velvet, I believe. So this piece here is velvet, not made of silk. I don't think I have any silk pieces. I think the only silk I have are scarves. Um, but I would love to have some more silk pieces. In fact, this piece right here would look better if it was silk, although it's polyester. Um, it's such a... I purchased this online... Again, one of those things that, you know, you purchase it and it looks good online, but when you actually get in person, it doesn't look so good. So, another one of those. Um, 
But if this was silk, I think it would look really good. Full slip and pantyhose? My goodness, what do you mean full slip and pantyhose? Also, there are 49, 50 of you now officially in the chat. And only 27 likes on my video. What is that about? If you haven't had a chance to yet, don't forget to like the video. I think you can do it from the screen here. So let's see if you can bring that 27 to at least 45. That would be ideal. Oh, and then here, I have some upper gloves. These are beige or cream, rather. These are cream colored. Same as these. Honestly, I think that gloves really do bring the look together. And so if you don't have a pair and you're into dressing up, definitely invest in a pair. I would say black is a good color to go with. I have black ones as well, but you know, I just like to change it up. And definitely have a matching headband. It really does bring a look together. I think it, it creates just kind of cute, mm, I would say, I wouldn't call it vintage, but maybe a little, but it's, just, it, it, I mean, like all together, I just feel like very cute scene. It's a fun look, but yeah, beige, cream, sorry, cream. Beige and cream, my goodness. And I'm trying not to say nudes anymore because I, I used to love saying nudes, but then I realized that what's nude for me might not be nude for you and it's different for everyone. And so definitely want to just call it cream beige or what it actually is. You know, a lot of people still call them nudes. I sometimes will call it nude, but have to be mindful of who you're speaking with. Here is my Jessica Rabbit dress. And I've had this for some time as well. Um, it could definitely use some repairs. I think that the straps have come off, and so it does need new straps, but this is just such a fun dress to wear, and it looks really good on me. Although, I think this would look really, really good with a breastplate. And then it has this really, really fabulous slit. Very sexy. Jessica Rabbit is iconic. I actually have um, some Ciate, I think it's Ciate, uh, makeup pieces from the Jessica Rabbit collection. So I've got her sparkle red lipstick and her eyeshadow palette as well as I believe her highlighter. Ooh, and then another piece, this is a really cute piece, although at this point I think I need to, I need to find a new home because it doesn't fit me as well as it used to. That or the zipper broke, you know, some of these pieces will be so cute if you buy online, but then like they're not the most well made. And so like, this is one of those pieces that, you know, got a couple of uses and then doesn't fit as well anymore because the zipper doesn't work, but really sexy dress, really fun. I love lace. Lace is something that I, I cannot live without. Um, and it's nice to have, you know, different colors in my wardrobe. I think this is one of the only green pieces I have. So if I get rid of this, I'm gonna have to go out and buy something new that's green. Well, not necessarily, not necessarily. Oh no, I do have a, I do have another green dress. It's this really, um, it's a super low slit mini skirt or mini dress. It's very sexy, but not something I'd wear often. Oh, and then here we go, black glove. Although I can't find its missing piece, uh, its matching pair. So it's missing a piece. But again, for those of you who like dressing up, I do recommend getting a pair of gloves. It really does bring the look together, I feel. And especially if like you feel you have, you know, more masculine arms, or if you don't want to shave your arms, these are definitely a good alternative. Definitely making feel more feminine. I'm wearing uh I'm wearing heels, but they're boot heels, so they're called booties. Thank you. I do love this necklace as well. It's a really good necklace. Oh, I should brush my hair. Let me just quickly brush these bangs. Think about bangs, they're just all over the place, aren't they? I always have a brush on hand. Oh, Frankie, did you do uh, grocery shopping? I can't imagine anywhere else being open outside of grocery stores. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. Is that my saying that right, Steven? Or Steve? Oh, look at this. This piece here. Really cute, but I mean, I've only worn it like three times. And like, I, I had it in storage and really fun. Feels like the village girl, like from Beauty and the Beast, like one of those girls, you know, it's just really fun, flay, uh, flurry top. 
looks good with movement. Um, but definitely could use an iron. But yeah, these are there's so many pieces in here that I plan on, you know, using for my upcoming spring haul video. But this is just a bit of a sneak peek. And then I have a plaid skirt here, which I got from H and M. Definitely feels like when I wear this, I'm living my clueless fantasy. Yes, my mom. Thanks for asking, Bruce. Yes, my family's doing okay. My mom is fine. Um, she is an essential worker and she works at a hospital. Uh, she does uh, pharmaceutical work, but she um, she's fine. She was able, actually she sent me some masks recently, which is really nice because there aren't many places for me to purchase masks here in New York City, and you know it's essential to wear masks now in New York City. You cannot leave the house without one, and so she was kind enough to send me a few masks. But nothing that would match this beautiful blue dress here. Oh, well, skirt. Sorry. Beautiful blue skirt. I wore this in my last live video. I wore this with that black sweetheart top. Super cute. I felt adorable wearing it. And then I made, after the video, I made a few TikToks. So be sure to check me out on TikTok if you aren't already following me. Same same handle as in YouTube, Yoya Fabulosa. Um, you'll see me dressing in this. Super, super cute. And now this isn't really... This is like a knockoff Supreme. It says super, but this is a leotard. I do like the checkered shape, uh, the checkered print, and I like the sleeves. I like the flare there. Definitely softens up. If you have broader shoulders, definitely softens that up. I think this will actually look good with that purple. Just a uh, blue skirt actually would look cute with this, I think. This would be a fun look. Like in a light jacket. I think that's pretty much it for now. This, is, this isn't everything I have, but, you know, it's quite a few of the things I, I, I do own. Oh, I'm going to try this out. Look at this. I also have this mask. Now, I haven't been to a masquerade party ever, but, you know, I'm really into the mask. And so I, I did purchase this with the idea that maybe one day, one day I will get the chance to wear this. We'll see. Yeah, David, it says super. It's a knockoff, like, supreme... Leotard or it's trying to knock off of that brand, but Thanks Sean. I'm glad you enjoyed again. This is only a quarter of my collection. I have so much more stuff um, a lot of it's in storage, but you know, I just had a few items to share a lot of the stuff I, I do plan on getting rid of though unfortunately because I do want to make room for new things and so I'm in the process of you know Figuring out what it is. I want to keep what it is. I need to discard and what it is. I'm looking for definitely when I have more, you know, more pieces that would lend itself to being on stage and for performance purposes. Um, that would be really fun. Uh, and I'm also looking for a bit more cosplays. I do want to cosplay more, and I think it'd be really fun to kind of incorporate some of my, you know, favorite shows and animes and video games into my channel in some, you know, fun and unique way. And so I'm thinking of some new series for my channel as well. So I think that we're going to see... A bit of a change on my channel right now it's i wanted to kind of gear it towards fashion which i thought i haven't made a fashion video since last month and so i wanted to kind of show some pieces but there will be a fashion oriented video coming out soon in my channel just give it a week or two um i am waiting for a few more pieces in the mail because i just purchased more things online hopefully they look good though hopefully they don't look terrible much like this green blouse i showed you which online it looked great but i guess you know it might have just been the way it fit the model. It doesn't fit me as well. I do have a bit broader shoulders, so it doesn't work in my favor. And dressing up as Catwoman would be fun. I think that would be a fun look. A 1940s look? What what do you have in mind? Like a 1940s like updo? That would be really fun. And a poison ivy a poison ivy cosplay would be really nice as well. Although I wouldn't want to paint my skin green. Oh, give me one moment. I'm going to grab my water bottle. I think I left it. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I'm back. Sorry. So, 
I just wanted to get just a bit of water. So I think this is the first time that I've done a live video this early. Um, it's not something that, um, I don't know if I plan on doing this more often. I do know that with things the way they are, I think having more live videos on my channel are good to kind of just check, touch base with you all, understand um, kind of how you're all doing, but also share some of, you know, the updates that are happening in my life. Not too much to share though, because as you all know, I've been in quarantine and I've been self-isolating. So I'm not sick though, thankfully. I haven't gotten sick. Although it does seem that here in New York City, the kind of, the idea is that we're all gonna get sick and it's just a matter of time, but we'll see. If, if I practice good hygiene, which I've always done, and, and I'm careful, which I am, I think I'll be fine. But I am, there's a couple of things that I've been thinking about. I think the main one is like, where I want to take my channel and what I would like to do after, you know, things go back to normal, if they do go back to normal and soon. And I do want to kind of, I'm going to still do fashion videos, but I do want to do kind of a series where I kind of give you a behind the scenes look on, you know, upgrading my aesthetic, you know, changing the way I produce videos and, and really going out there and gaining skills to, you know, enhance my, well, gaining skills to be a better performer is the best way to say it. So one of the things I really want to do is I want to perform again. I think that I've been doing YouTube for five years now and it's been great and I enjoy it, but it's just not, it's not getting me where I want to be. And so I feel like I should do YouTube and supplement that with actually going out and performing and building, you know, my brand. And so that's something that I've been thinking about for the last two years. And it just, I haven't gotten around to it, but now that I have all this time at home, I feel like there's no reason for me not to start sewing again and really creating some uh, elaborate outfits, um, putting together pieces to, you know, eventually when things go back to normal, put on stage and also share on YouTube. Of course, I wouldn't plan on doing something out live and stage, not, you know, share some form of it on YouTube. Um, but that's just kind of where I was thinking, you know, and that's gonna, I think I was, we're kind of still working through it, um, but I think I wanna call it more of a, a journey to start on because I think my goal is to, you know, have a mini series to really create high quality productions um, with, you know, good production quality, sound quality, I want my aesthetic to be on point. There's just, I have so many goals and dreams. And I mean, thanks to all of you, I've been able to hit, you know, one of my dreams of like having a pinup photo shoot and creating a calendar, which is really exciting. And again, I have two calendars left if anyone's interested, but I am, um, I, I want, I want to, you know, grow and do really fun things. And I think that it's definitely in the realm of possibilities. It's just a matter of really working hard, which is what I've been doing, but also um, finding new ways to, Put myself out there and so right now i think this is the perfect time to kind of gather all my pieces and have something in play for or something planned for when things do go back to normal so like for example i do want to um do a burlesque number where i am dressed up as a giant hershey kiss uh and i was thinking of using something like um paneers which are kind of like the 19 or the 1800s, or not even 1800s, even before that, like back in the Victorian times, the women would wear, almost they look like loaves of bread on the side to kind of give them that like poofy shape that really like, this is like the top and then it goes out. And so you kind of attach it to the waist, but I wanted to wear something like that and then wrap myself up in aluminum foil for like the first minute of the performance and then slowly unwrap it to have a corset you know, something that's bedazzled. So I, I would usually have an underbust corset with the bra or bustier that I would just kind of bedazzle, have some rhinestones and sequins. I want to be dripping in diamonds and jewels and then kind of look like a Hershey kiss. So it would be brown. And that's just kind of an idea. It's something that I'm thinking about. There's quite a few ideas that I have, um, but I just need time to execute them. But again, I have time now to do that. So a lot of it right now is kind of focusing on downsizing my current wardrobe to then bring in these pieces that I can then create uh, and use to, to perform live on stage here in New York City. 
when things go back to normal. So we'll see how that works out, but I definitely want to, um, Vanessa, good to see you. Have a good night. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to really jump into that scene. Um, so again, downsizing comes first, and then kind of giving you guys a kind of a uh, behind the scenes look of me creating these pieces, of me practicing my numbers, dancing, because I do want to take dance classes. I want to, you know, become more proficient at dancing. I feel like I'm a good dancer, but, you know, I could always learn something new. And I, I do want to practice cutting as well and, and doing isolations. I think that looks so cool. Um, but that's just kind of the general gist of what I want to take my channel. That's just one of the things I want to do. There are two additional things I, I'm thinking of, um, but those require a bit more production, a bit more um, of a budget. So I feel like this journey to stardom, as we'll call it, um, is something that I can do now. It's something that I can work towards. So yeah, just that's kind of an update of what I'm thinking to do with my channel. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to share today. This was meant to be a bit of a shorter live just because um, it's a bit early in the day and I wanna make sure that I have time to get around to some of the things that are on my to-do list. Saturdays are my days where I'm just gonna do nothing now I've decided. I'm just going to relax, enjoy myself, really um, wind down. Sundays I also wanna to use to wind down but definitely wanna be a little bit more productive on Sundays and so right after this, Live video, I have a few things I need to do. I need to tidy up my room because I've got that clothes scattered all over the place just for the purpose of this video. But we've got four or five minutes. So please, let's ask away. Let's chat. Yes, this is a very cute piece. I actually have another one just like it. It's um, very similar cut. Actually, the same cut, but just different print. It's with carrots. It's super cute. Thank you, William. And I think I'll be doing a lot more live chats in the future as well. I think that I'll be doing a live chat probably twice a month for the next maybe two months. So bi-weekly. So the next live video will probably be the beginning of May. And then another one following that at the end of May. I think this is a, I think this is something that I'm, you know, I can definitely do and I do enjoy doing live videos. Oh, thank you, Gabrielle. Appreciate it. So, okay, well, enjoy Wonder Woman. I don't blame anyone here for wanting to go watch Wonder Woman, but maybe someday soon I'll dress up as Wonder Woman. I think that'd be a great burlesque number, actually, for me to wear. I mean, Wonder Woman has such a great outfit. I love her leotard, but it's just so cute, and I think that. It's something, you know, I should write that down to dress up as one woman. What do you guys think? Definitely think I should dress up as one woman. We have two minutes left. I want to want to hit this at the 45 minute mark. So if anyone has any questions or things to say, um, but yeah, I am looking forward to performing and sharing that with you all and kind of giving you guys a behind the scenes looks at that. So yeah, looking forward to that. I really am. But, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. Definitely need to kind of, I guess concept, concept is a big thing for me. I, I want to make sure I create, you know, is a cohesive story that, you know, has a beginning and an end and is fun. And I'm specifically talking about burlesque. So I took in two classes on how to get started in burlesque and I performed twice in burlesque and I have one of the performances on my channel. Um, but yeah, I just want to... Oh, I, have other video. I have so much to do actually. I have... Oh, wow. I just thought about it. I actually have to clean out my laptop too because I have a new laptop coming in and so I want to make sure that like things are backed up. So, geez, I feel like even though things have, well, even though I'm at home and I feel like, you know, I have more time, there's still so much to do. There's, I am always, always, always finding new things to do. There's always things I have to do. And so, you know, I stay busy. And it helps the time go by much faster, which is nice during this weird time because I cannot wait for things to go back to normal. I think the first thing that I look forward to after things to go back to normal is being able to go out and dance. But I mean, in the meantime, I'll just dance here in my apartment with no one watching and maybe do, maybe I should do a live video where I'm dancing. What do you guys think of that? 
Thank you. I do love the gloves as well. They look fantastic. And I do think, as I mentioned several times in this video, they really, really do bring a look together, I feel. Thomas, I should do an all black outfit. I don't think that's a good suggestion. I think they could definitely do an all black outfit. Maybe dress up as Catwoman. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. But we are at the uh, 45 minute mark, and I do want to get going because I do have quite a few things to do today. So I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this live video and joining me today. It's always a pleasure being here and having you all support me on YouTube. So thank you so much for your support. And I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out my next live video, which will probably be um, maybe the first week of May. We'll see. Definitely keep an eye out for, you know, updates on my community tab, okay? As always, oh, Jewel, thank you so much for your wonderful comments. You're always giving me such good advice and, and insights and always really, really, well, um, really, really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. And I wish more people would um, share their insights, um, which a lot of people do comment on my channel, but Jewel really does a great job of um, really giving me feedback because as someone who's been you know, doing it for five years, I really do love feedback because I've been doing this on my own. And so it's it's nice to know when people have some thoughts and, and can, you know, talk about the video quality or the concept. It's really nice. I really enjoy that. So going forward, if you want some extra brownie points with yours truly, um, let me know how you like a specific video and what you liked about it or what you didn't like. Joe, you've been doing that this whole time. So, you know, thank you so much for that. But I have to get going now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. And that is like my signature ender for video. Now I can't actually end the video without taking off these gloves. So I have to take these gloves off to make sure I hit that end button. So give me a second. Take off my gloves. <laughs> Bye.